Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking to you about my birth story of my first child, Noah. Basically, at seven months pregnant, I was taken into hospital because I was in the first parts of labour. But thankfully, I managed to keep hold of him for another month. He obviously wasn't quite strong enough and I wasn't prepared to let him go yet. I was obviously having contractions very regularly in that time. Obviously not as strong as when you're in full-on established labour, but they were very, very painful. Every time I'd think, oh my god, is this it? I didn't actually get time to even pack a hospital bag or um, prepare any kind of birth plan. I just knew that I wanted to have Noah in a hospital where I'd be surrounded by professionals so that if anything went wrong, I would be in safe hands. That was kind of the one thing I did want. Yeah, it was. I made quite a loose one in my head, but... Yeah, I kind of just went with the flow with it really because I'd already been through so much. So basically at eight months when I went into labour, I knew I was in labour that day because I stood up and my waters just went everywhere. I phoned the midwife and I phoned Matt to get him to come home. Basically two days before I went into labour, um, our car broke so he had to catch a train home. So for the first part of that labour, I was completely by myself. So... <laughs> I was scared, alone, and in a lot of pain. I didn't actually make it to a hospital. I ended up having an emergency home birth. And at one point, I had two paramedics, two midwives, a trainee midwife, Matt, my mum, and my big sister, all in my house. I didn't have access to any pain relief at all, so I did it completely without, not even so much as gas and air. I remember saying like, can you just tell me how many minutes or seconds I've got left because I'm really struggling to cope. How long is a piece of string? So yeah, that didn't go down that well. And then I remember thinking, I think I need to poo. And saying to the midwife, I need to go to the toilet. I can't just poo right here. And um, she was like, I don't think that you need to poo. And I was like, I'm telling you, I know my body. I need to poo. So... I basically stood up and I said, I'm going by myself, marched across the corridor while dragging my legs. And yeah, I didn't need to go to the toilet. That was baby. And from that point, it was go, go, go. They whisked me back into the bedroom. And yeah, he was born there and then. And oh God, when I think of that day and I think of the way that he was just wrapped up in an orange towel because, you know, we were quickly running out of towels and sheets and everything because I wasn't prepared for a home birth. We put him in a nice big orange fluffy towel and he was so tiny. And um, just it's just overwhelming love. That's all I can really say. Everything else just became irrelevant from that point. It didn't matter to me that I didn't have a birthing plan or a bag packed it didn't matter to me that I had basically everyone and his dog in my bedroom and I'd lost all my pride and all my dignity when I looked down at Noah for the very first time oh uh, there's I just can't even describe it to you it's just overwhelming love if you're an expecting mum I would absolutely love to hear from you I would love to answer any of your questions um I hope that in some way my story gives you comfort because it's so far from what I imagined it would be and I turned out absolutely fine. I've got a healthy little boy, he's now six and yeah, I wouldn't change a moment of it. Also check out the other channel mums because us women should stick together and support each other and all of our stories are just so different. You can take comfort from each of us. So until next time, lots of love. Bye.